about uh, sustainable design and arts, I want to introduce the next guest, uh, Manuela Catania, an Italian designer and lecturer. And so she will talk about arts and sustainable fashion design as a driver of innovation. So Manuela, the stage is yours. Thank you so much, Federica, and good afternoon, everyone. It is really my pleasure to be here today. And thank you, Federica, for the inviting me. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Um, okay. Okay, you can see my screen, right? No, we don't see really properly the presentation. We just see the, okay, now, yes. Ah, can you see this? Perfect, okay, so I can start. Uh, so today I'm gonna uh, talk with you about my uh, sustainable design project called the Five Senses of the Future that is part of the countless cities Biennale in Italy right now. But I'd love to share with you how I started this project uh, since 2017. Um, well, all my design research is based on the idea of blending myself with the humans, nature and uh, life, everyday life. And uh, this uh, approach to the sustainable design project is something that is also part of my teaching experience because I used to teach fashion design, interior design. So I always try to um, put inside my uh, teaching life all these aspects related to sustainability, to humanity, culture, and uh, uh, to uh, the sensory approach to life. Um, I have a motto that really guide all my um, my work, my teaching experience, and more than everything, my sustainable fashion design project, that is, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Because sometimes I feel that uh, uh, in terms of like uh, uh, sustainable research, we are just like, you know, a small part, we do a little, but that little can be a lot. So I think we really um, work on that until everything, everybody can really uh, adopt something similar in order to change. Um, as I was telling you before, all my sustainable design research is based on the connection with uh, light, wind, and the reused material, and mainly use recycled plastics, uh, plastic bags, and uh, old clothes. And it's a lot of the place where I come from, Sicily, uh, in terms of like uh, blending myself with wind and with the sea. Uh, the project that I, I founded in 2017 is called Vision Opia. It comes from the combination of two words and vision and utopia. Because I just, when I do, when I work with material, I just uh, uh, create in my mind place that, that they don't exist yet, but they are there. And the place uh, became for me clothes or part of my daily life. Um, five words define my sustainable design project, Hong Kong, Bali, vision, caring, and multicultural. Hong Kong, because I was uh, teaching and working in Hong Kong when I started this project, um, but I was traveling very often to Bali. Uh, I was uh, supporting children of an orphanage in Bali and uh, working with them on the sustainable design project and vision, caring, and multicultural as main inspiration of my design research. Uh, this one is like a part of my first uh, approach to sustainable fashion design in collaboration with these amazing uh, kids of the children house or La Rosine in Bali. Together we, uh, we put together different energy. So we decided to start to reuse uh, plastic bags from Bali and uh, uh, transform them into design. Uh, what we did was like uh, working together monthly, twice uh, for month. And because at the time I was living in Hong Kong, so just traveling to Bali. And with the final outcome, we used to organize exhibition and fashion show in order to get donation to support them. But at the same time was a way to create something that was very um, strong for the, for the kids, very educative and very like creative for them. Um, so uh, this one was just like the first step into this, uh, uh, into the fashion design world. Amico, was... buongiorno, scusami. <coughs> e figurati, non ti preoccupare. Emma, close the, turn off the... <laughs> Ed è lunga. Senti, io ti volevo solo dire questo. Allora, siamo riusciti a trovare forse il nostro... Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> 
So as I was telling you, uh, the project was part of exhibition in Bali and then we were able to support kids. The point was like uh, a sustainability is caring for me and it's not just a way to be sustainable and reuse material, but also taking care of humanity. And it is the most important part of my sustainable project. At the same time, there is a lot of my, my background, Italian culture, and more than everything from Sicily, the place where I come from. So working with and exploring my, uh, my, uh, my place and uh, the Sicily in general, Sicily in general is part of this uh, design pr uh, project. So look back also, all the things come from the past. I'm so fascinated by also women from Sicily, like Donna Franca Florio. So in, uh, having like a muse for me is a strong inspiration that really guide my design project because I believe that each uh, approach uh, in terms of sustainability must also have like a reference in terms of like uh, um, something that is connected to femininity. Um, this one is like a part of my design project is one of the first pieces I made I was living in Hong Kong and was showcased that this one at an exhibition in uh, Dadder Street uh, in 2019. And it was inspired by some jewelry that uh, Donna Franca Florio used to wear. Uh, but in my case, I just use all the bed linen and jute and no sewing at all. Uh, my design project uh, is a, like as a process that, as I was telling you before, um, I blend with light and uh, light and wind all the time. I use old clothes. I just enjoy uh, to uh, cut in a small stripe and then start to make a grid. Uh, this grid became for me design, like it could be a top, it could be a skirt, it could be jacket, jumpsuit and wherever. Um, in my design project, uh, process, there is no any um, sewing at all, but just all made by knots one by one. And again, there is a strong interaction with the wind and light. Um, this one was also part, uh, for example, last year, during the, the lockdown, I was in Italy and not in Hong Kong because I was not able to fly back to Hong Kong uh, end of January. And so I decided to explore more all these aspects and uh, using everything I found at my place in terms of bed, bed linen and old clothes, interacting all the time with wind, like the Sirocco is a stronger wind in Sicily and enjoying with the early uh, light in the morning. Um, but then this project became something else because last year uh, I, I decided to organize uh, um, some workshop online uh, with the university in Macau, Hong Kong and India uh, at the same university I'm working with them right now. And the workshop was based on the creative isolation. So we are not isolated in a moment like that, but we can be all connected by creativity. And here you can see some final outcome made all by recycled fabric using the technique of making notes. Uh, with a uh, student from Macau and student in Hong Kong, we start to make accessories like uh, bags and like uh, small accessories. Uh, some of them make it made also by recycled plastic bags. Before the pandemic, I used to travel a lot and uh, teaching in different countries. Uh, in Hong Kong, besides teaching, I was also exploring the sustainable fashion design, teaching uh, uh, to students with different backgrounds, so not about fashion design, teaching them how it's possible to create a design clothes uh, using recycled plastic bags. So you can see here some images. Um, exploring all the possible ways to be uh, creative. I was teaching also the same in Bangalore, in India, exploring the culture at the same time. And in Jaipur, before the pandemic, we had a week, uh, full week of masterclass about sustainability, investigating jewelry, uh, fashion design, and interior design. And here you can see some images. Uh, where we really enjoy not only to use material, but also to arrange the campus the fashion show and the styling photo shooting with the makeup. So inviting students to think out of the box. We had also a session about interior design, again, blending, uh, restyling old furniture using uh, old fabrics and uh, material and arranging also styling photo shooting at the campus. Um, after that, I was also, um, also in Dubai, uh, FAD International, teaching to the student from fashion design course how to uh, create design using recycled plastic bags without sewing, and we arranged also styling uh, uh, photo shooting. Uh, the same I was doing in Bali. So I always enjoy that because I can really see the different outcome connecting myself and my uh, project about sustainability with different culture. 
uh, this project was, was also part of Modern Woman Festival in Bali in 2019. This dress is all made by recycled plastic bags by myself and not sewing at all. And again, back to my teaching life in Hong Kong at Raffles Design Institute, where I was teaching interior design, fashion design, fashion marketing, I always in, I invited the student to think, out of uh, to think out of the box and to restyle everything, making the, pro the product strong in terms of sustainable approach. Uh, the same was like teaching in visual merchandising. So how it's possible to create communication being sustainable at the same time. Uh, and I'm sharing with you some steps of my design project. Uh, I use a recycled Utah coffee bag and old bed linen and creating this huge necklace that they could be also part of our home, just like as an art piece. I use let leftover threads as a main inspiration also to create a new design. This project was also part of an, of an exhibition in Hong Kong at K11 uh, in collaboration with the Raffles Design Institute, uh, Institute Hong Kong. All the pieces you can see here are just made by recycled fabrics. Of course, beside, be, behind this, there is a lot of research in terms of uh, what other luxury brand or brand are doing in terms of sustainable design. Uh, so you have my references and I always used to share them with students in order to inspire them to be a sustainable, creative, and think out of, of the box. Here are some images of my last year lockdown in Italy. I was spending so much time in my terrace and enjoying to use plastic, old bed linen, taking photos and wearing all these dresses until uh, this year. I was invited to create the um, Hong Kong Pavilion at the Biennale Countless Cities at Farm Cultural Park in Favara, where I am right now, and where uh, I um, uh, combine different universities from Hong Kong, artists together, and all of them are showcased at the Hong Kong Pavilion. The pavilion is all made by uh, recycled fabrics and plastic bags by myself. I spent I spend five months uh, building this cave of fabrics and light. And, uh, um, and it's part of also um, the new European Bauhaus. Um, at the same time, uh, this uh, um, project hosts different projects from my student because at the end of last year, I organized an, an online sustainable fashion design workshop in collaboration with Hong Kong U, uh, HKUST art program um, is at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Uh, we arranged an online workshop where students were able to create uh, design and clothes all made by recycled fabrics, plastic bags without sewing. Uh, they ship all this closely to Italy and uh, we right now at the Biennale, you can see them. And uh, we arranged here in Favara a styling photo shooting. Uh, so in order to show that all these clothes are totally wearable, flexible and quite interesting at the same time in terms of design. So they are very innovative. Um, we selected four students from uh, India, uh, Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, all of them studying in Hong Kong. And uh, uh, as a way to share like uh, um, that we can all, we can be creative and we can make clothes. Uh, and right now, this uh, project is going to be like in this month part of, uh, we will have different webinar. I'm, I'm inviting uh, um, professionals from different parts of the world in order to talk about the sensory experience to design and the sustainability. That is not only fashion, but for me, in my case, all these uh, food like uh, uh, fashion and uh, communication could be part of the same goal, being sustainable and uh, providing a uh, better life for everybody. Uh, so I believe that sustainability is a way to fill uh, our potential, to blend with nature and to create with love. And thank you so much. So many thanks, Manuela, really, for this very nice contribution. 